What is good and welcome to a brand new series that I'm starting today and it is my FIFA manager mode career team. Now, uh, uh, you know, I've been thinking about doing something new and uh, this is what I've come to the conclusion of doing. Now, I need you guys, you know, obviously your guys' opinion if I should keep doing this, if I should, you know, stop doing this, uh, what you guys are thinking. But I want this to be a very interactive series. Uh, I want you guys to be able to, you know, like, tell me what you're thinking, who you want, what you want on my team, what I should be doing, stuff like that. So I'm going to be picking my favorite team, Arsenal, in the EPL, English Premier League, uh, the Barclays Premier League. Or whatever you guys want to call it, but yes, I'm picking Arsenal, and uh, as you guys know, Arsenal is um, a top team in the EPL, top team in the world, but we always just come short. Um, this year, we had a good run, now we dropped a third, and we're always just fighting. We fight for the league, then we end up just fighting for Champions League spot, and I'm tired of that. So in this, ep uh, this series, I should say, I'm going to be making, uh, or hopefully making Arsenal a title contender, and even the Champions League contender. So here we are looking at emails, and uh, Mr. Dre Drizzle, I like the sound of that, you know, the, the, the coach of Arsenal, I like that. Um, but we're just looking at some emails right now that I need to be getting uh, a, a, a striker. There's, it says we look, we should look for a striker. Um, as an Arsenal fan, I know that we do have Oliver Giroud and we do have Danny Welbeck, but Welbeck has been sliding left and right midfield positions, and um, a lot of our other forwards have been uh, out on loan. So here we go with the uh, lineup that they're starting me with. I have Ozil, uh, Giroud, Sanchez, Corzola, Coquelin, Welbeck on the right, um, Bellerin on the right back position, Martin Soccer, Koscielny, and Nacho Monreal. And in goal, uh, I have uh, Ospina. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, after I go through this, I'm going to show you guys the team that I would like to use. Uh, I would like to use um, Oxide Chamberlain on the right mid position. I want to have Debussy on the right back position. Um, I'm going to be playing... Aaron Ramsey in the center of the park with Cazola. Aaron Ramsey going to hold a little bit more than Cazola because obviously you guys know Cazola is a very skillful attacking midfield player. But he has been playing more of a holding role lately. Not a holding, but I should say central role uh, behind Ozil. And Ramsey just does all the dirty work, the hard work, and is going to be just cleaning everything up for me in the midfield. I'm going to put Kieran Gibbs left back instead of Ma Nacho Monreal. And um, I think that's about it. Uh, here's Gideon Zamella. If you guys don't know him, he's a very young soccer uh, upcoming prospect. Um, but what is cool about this is that he is from America. He played actually on the club team that my uh, academy team coached when I used to play back, you know, in my younger days. And um, I used to watch him play when he was about 14, 13 years old. And now he's playing for my favorite team. And I'm like, wow. The transition, you know what I'm saying? From then to here, from, it's, it's crazy. So um, that's also a good player that I'm going to be using a lot, especially my goalie right here, and everything looks good. So formation-wise, I'm going to be playing the 4-2-3-1 formation, or if you guys want to call it a 4 5, or the 4 5 one or the 4 4 one, one formation, but I'm going to be having two holding uh, midfield players, Ozil attacking, two wingers, and a center target striker. Now I'm just going to be going through here, and I'm going to be fixing, you know, uh, the players should be saying why, if they should be cutting in, if they should be holding, if they should be attacking, stuff like that. And then we're going to go over to my team's sell player list. Now, this is one thing that Arsenal does not do a lot of, and that is buy players. Recently, we, we have been buying players. Um, Ozil, we've been buying, uh, we bought Alexis Sanchez, uh, we got even Sergio Corzola. But we do not really go after the big players. So what I'm going to be trying to do is not necessarily going after big players because we can't exactly afford them. But we're going to be trying to go after players that fit our scheme. Um, you know, we like young players at Arsenal, so I might be going after some young players as well to, you know, help us out. Now, we only have three center backs. I like to have four center backs on my uh, roster. You know, I like to have two starters, two backups just in case one gets hurt. Then I don't have to be running, you know, a center or right back at center back or left back at center back. We can be rocking with four in the back. Um, I have two left backs, but Nacho Monreal, I'm sorry, you have to go. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of another left back in my right now. We'll get to that later. Uh, Bellarini, Chambers, Debushi. We have a lot of right backs. We have some young right backs I'm going to put out for loan. 
Now we have Sensei Cazola, Thomas Rosinski, uh, uh, Ozil. We have so many center midfielders, so that means Mikel Arteta, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go. And if we can get a good price for you, you will be sold. I got this young 16-year-old center defensive midfielder here that I'm gonna be, you know, working in, in some cup games. I have Flamini, uh, I'm sorry, but you're not one of my favorite players, and you gotta go. Uh, every Other than that, things are looking good. Now we have Serge Narby here. Who I'm not selling, so don't get scared. He's a great player. He's very young. I'm gonna be, you know, rotating him in. But I do need one more uh, right midfield player. He could be left footed or right footed. He could be a left mid or right mid. That does not matter to me. Um, but I would love for you guys to uh, let me know about that. But this here is the biggest decision I'm gonna be making. As you guys know, Theo Walcott has been with us for a long time and had great potential, and he has great speed, obviously. But he always gets hurt, and it, it's just chemistry is just, you know, he's in and out of the rotation, in and out of the lineup. So what I'm doing here is I'm sorry, but he's going on the transfer list and see what we can get for him. <sighs> that's sad, that's sad. Anyways, back to this. And as you guys know, we do need a forward. So I'm going to be looking for somebody to back up or maybe even take the spot of Oliver Giroud. Now, here is my scouting report from my scouts going around looking for the best players. And they're telling me, look at this guy right here, uh, Saido Ber Berino. Uh, he's a good player. He's young. Look at him. Christian Benteke is obviously a great player and would definitely fit my scheme. So I'm going to be looking at him. Uh, Andy Carroll's here, uh, Sergio Aguero, I would love to have him, but he is mad expensive, so I cannot afford him. Now we're going to be looking at a left back player that I said I'm looking for to replace Nacho Monreal, and that is Jetro Williams. This man is 20 years old, 5'7", great speed, and he's showing great potential, so I have to go after him. Now I need a center back as well, uh, like I said, I need four of those. So, not Atletico Madrid, but Atletico Bilbao. They have this young 20 year old center back. I mean, I, what is his name? Amernak Laporte. Amernak Laporte, great player, has great uh, you know, up and coming talent, and I would love to have a guy like that on my team. So, we'll make a purchase for him. Now, uh, uh, Balassi if he plays for Crystal Palace. If you guys don't know, he is a great player. Uh, he's been playing very well this year, and because of that, he's caught attention of my eye and I'm making a purchase for him possibly. Now we're going to move to the, the German League and Hung Min Son of Brian Leverkusen has been playing great this year and is a wing player that I would love to have. Now we're going to Schalke and Julian Draxler is obviously on the top of many teams radar and even is on the top of Arsenal's radar so I have to go after him. Now for a forward, Andre Lacazette. Alexander Lacazette is just a, a tremendous player, has mad skill, mad pace, and I want him on my team. I need you guys also to comment down below, let me know other center forwards that I can um, purchase because I need ideas. But I got an offer from Palermo for Flamini and he's gone. I got also another offer from uh, UD Almerera for Mikel Arteta. So I'm taking that offer and he is gone. Now, here is Jetro Williams, and he is uh, going to be my first signee of the year. Clap it up, clap it up. Thank you, thank you. And yes, Jetro Williams for 14 mil will be entering my team. We'll not be starting at first. Uh, we'll be, you know, rotating him through the uh, friendlies, but we'll see how he goes. And now for 35 mil, my second signee of this transfer market goes to Imerak Laporte. 80 year old, 80 year old, 80 overall, center back, 20 years old, uh, he's going to be a great player I feel like for us. So here are five signees that I'm looking to make my third signee of the year. Um, there are no forwards in this list, so I, like I said before, I need you guys to let me know because I'm struggling to find somebody that's, I wouldn't say expensive or cheap, but something that can fit my scheme as a target forward and uh, is, is in a good price range. But here's uh, Balassi, he can play left mid or right mid for me. Um, here's Fry, he can also play left mid or right mid for me. Now I want you guys to pick who you think is the best player to fit my team. I have uh, Draxler, Hung Ming Sun, and I have Jordan Henderson right here. I'm debating on getting Jordan Henderson, but out of that five, you guys need to also pick who you think I should sign there. But from there, it is time for me to play my first friendly game of the season with my team.
Hi there everyone, Martin Tyler here, with me today Alan Smith as usual, and it is a friendly fixture we have for you. And our match today, Arsenal against Palermo. Alexis Sanchez is... Uh... Now the game has started and we are versing Palermo in this friendly. Now Ozil is using, using his tricks and skills and he's just moving the ball. Ramsey puts the ball over the top to Giroud and oh my gosh he's in. But he kicks it straight to the goalie and he makes a strong save. Now here we go with Palermo with the ball. And they're just cutting and slicing. They play it, they turn the ball over to Aaron Ramsey who just works hard in the middle and plays another through ball over the top to Giroud. But he's off sides. And Ramsey is there just working hard and he is the engine and heart and soul of my center mid. Now here goes Ozil with the skill and there's a nice rollover. Finds Giroud, who finds Ramsey. Plays the through ball on the Corzola and he is in. Skill, power, precision, what a goal! Santi Corzola with the goal, finish the right hand side and Arsenal is up 1-0. Now we're hopping in the 43rd minute of this game and Palermo is moving up the field. Skill right here and he's going down the right hand side of the field. Now he cuts it, plays his man in, takes a shot and great save by my keeper. Now here's a corner kick, 45th minute of the game, we need to keep it locked in right here. Header, oh my gosh. Right when I say we gotta keep it locked in, off the corner kick, we have two players around one defender, or one attacker, I should say, and they score. Two against one, and they score. Obviously, I made two additions, uh, two new additions to my uh, defense, Detro Williams and Amernak Laporte, and uh, they're both on the bench, so we'll probably be seeing some changes at halftime in this friendly. So it is halftime, 1-1 is the score, and I'll be making subs right now. Jetro Williams, you're coming in right now for Karen Gibbs. And Denny Welbeck, I think, uh, deserves some playing time and will move in for Oxlade Chamberlain. So here are the two subs. And let's get into the second half. Palermo has the ball, and they're moving it. Tiki Taka Soccer. Ooh, what a nice flick. Fellaini has it. Oh my gosh, he's going against us right now. And that is oh, a foul. Bad tackle right there, and they are in good free kick range. Cabello with the free kick. Takes it with the left foot. Oh, and it's just off. We caught a lucky break there. Now Sanchez with the ball, gives it to Ozil. Finds Ramsey, who has been playing very well this game. Back to Ozil, who finds Corzola. Puts it on his left foot, takes a shot, and what a good save by the keeper. Even though he was that close, it was an easy save because it was straight to the keeper's body. Now, Cozola crosses it on the corner kick, but it's defended pretty well. The ball comes out to Cozola again. Left foot cross. Giroud is there, and what a finish. Oliver Giroud, the target man, the man that's just great heading the ball, does what he does best and uses his size and his power and heads it into the goal. 2-1 Arsenal over Palermo, and we are in the lead. Now we're in the 78th minute, and Plymouth crosses the ball. Great defense by Arsenal. Great tackle there. Oh, what a hard tackle. Foul. That was a great tackle. But, I mean, I guess the ref wasn't rocking with it, and it is time for another sub. Gideon Zamella is entering the game for Matsit Ozil, and Zamella will be having a lot of chance this this season to make a name for himself. And here we go, Sanchez with the ball. Cuts it back, plays it and loses it. Now player moves off. The guy's dribbling in the back, never dribble in the back fellas. And he gets the ball stolen, but then we lose it. We get it back, Ramsey gives it off to Santi Corzola. Who finds it, breaking the tackle, oh my gosh, Tiki Taka, he's on one-on-one, -on -one, and what a goal, three to one, Oliver Giroud with his second goal of the game, and he deserves to celebrate with the fans, 
Tiki Taka Soccer, avoiding all these slide tackles and tucking it in. Sometimes it's finesse and now power that wins you games. And we won 3-1. to one. The game is over. What a great game by Oliver Giroud. I would also say Santi Cazola, uh, Aaron Ramsey, and I would even say Alexis Sanchez all played very well. And here we go with the player ratings. And like I said, 8.5 from Giroud, 8.4 from Cazola, 8.1 from Ramsey. My midfield is looking great. Um, I have goals from Corzola and two goals from Giroud, assist from Sanchez, Corzola. I thought Ramsey had an assist on that, but I guess not. And uh, a great game so far from my team. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I'm looking forward to this series being a crazy, exciting, and fun series. Um, I'm going to be doing face cams from now on. I promise you that. They're going to be, y'all you know, be seeing my reactions and uh, all my crazy antics during the game. Uh, but like I said before, I really hope you guys do enjoy this episode and, uh, and will enjoy the series. But for now, I'm out.